All right, let's dive into some internet shenanigans that will make you question just how secure your browser really is. So here's the school. An 18 year old vulnerability has been hanging around in your favorite web browsers, just waiting to ruin your day. And no, we are not talking about your dad's old Internet Explorer. This flaw impacts modern browsers like Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and a bunch of others. This little oversight lets attackers execute code remotely on your machine, opening the door for all kinds of nastiness like data theft, malware, and more. They are calling it 0.0.0.0 day. And if you think that IP address looks harmless, think again. The brains behind this discovery? The good folks at Oliga Security, an open source security firm that probably spends its weekends poking around in dark corners of the internet where most of us wouldn't dare to venture. They found that uh, this flow allows hackers to bypass browser security and mess with services running on your local network from the comfort of their own remote locations. Imagine someone controlling your house lights from another city. That's basically what's happening here. So, what's the big deal with 0000? Turns out this IP address, which usually serves as a default or placeholder, can be weaponized. The vulnerability exists because the browser industry has never really gotten its act together when it comes to standardizing security mechanisms. As Lomeski, an AI security researcher at Oligo, pointed out in a blog post, the 0000 IP address can become a powerful tool for attackers to exploit local services. We are talking about everything from development environments to operating systems and even internal networks. In short, this isn't just a bug, it's a gapping hole in your digital defenses. So here's how it works. Browsers are designed to send requests to just about any HTTP server using JavaScript. Their main job is to deliver the right response, whether that's the content you are looking for or an error message. The problem is, not all browsers handle these requests the same way. Some will block malicious requests, while others might just shrug and let them through. It's like having a security guard who sometimes checks ID and other times just waves everyone in. Now, uh, Chrome introduced something called Private Network Access PNA, because if there's one thing Chrome is known for, for its privacy, right? So this PNA was supposed to beef up security by distinguishing between public, private, and the local networks. And the idea was that the page loaded in less secure context wouldn't be able to communicate with more secure one. Sounds like a good plan, right? But here's the kicker. Oligos researchers found that requests uh, sent to 0000 still got through. That means a public website could access any open port on your host without even seeing the response. It's like your front door's wide open, but somehow you can't even tell who's coming and going. To prove just how bad this could get, the researchers demonstrated an attack campaign called Shadow Ray. This attack used 0000 vulnerability to execute arbitrary code on a private server that had accidentally been exposed to internet. The kicker? This went undetected for a nearly a year. That's 12 months of hackers having the keys to your digital kingdom while you were numb the wiser. And to test this theory, uh, the Oligo team ran a local Rai cluster on a local host and started a socket to listen for new connections. All it took was just one click on a malicious link in an email and boom. The exploit opened a reverse shell on the victim's machine. If that doesn't make you want to double check your security settings, I don't know what will. But it doesn't stop there. The researchers showed how they could replicate this attack on Chromium, Safari and Firefox, making it clear this is a cross-browser problem. They even tested it with Selenium Grid public servers and PyTorch Torch Server linking it to previous attack campaigns like Selenium Grid and Shelltorch. In other words, 
this isn't just some one of chance. This is a systemic problem that could be exploited in countless ways. So what's a poor, unsuspecting internet user to do? All I got disclosed the flaw to the big players, Google, Apple, Mozilla, and they have rolled out fixes to block 0000 as a target IP. Well, let's be real. The browser industry still has a long way to go when it comes to securing these digital gateways. It's like trying to patch a leaky boat while still sailing in a storm. Sure, you can fix one hole, but what about the others? In the meantime, there are a few things you can do to protect yourself. Network administrators can implement technical mitigations like using PNA headers and verifying the host header to protect against DNS rebinding attacks. And here's a pro tip. Just because a network is local doesn't mean it's safe. It's like assuming your neighborhood is crime free just because you live there. Add some basic authorization, even on localhost. And for the love of all things digital, use HTTPS over HTTP whenever possible. Throw in some CSRF tokens for a good measure and even if your app is local. At the end of the day, 000 day is a reminder that even the most seemingly unconscious details can turn into security, serious security threats. So stay vigilant, keep your software updated and maybe don't trust everything with 0000 in its address. After all, it's not paranoia if they are really out to get you.